Thank you. Let's get you updated on this breaking news out of Canton this morning. Uh, a pretty big mess left right in the front of that Imagine Theater on off of Ford Road. Oh yeah, all that glass smashed in because thieves drove a vehicle right through it to try and get at the ATM. We've been seeing this happen day after day in so many different communities. Nick Monticelli at the scene there where they're trying to clean up all the mess. And investigators are considering whether or not any of them could be connected. We had one in Westland, one in New Boston, especially on this side of our area. And of course, all the ones we always see in the Detroit area. This one, though, happening at about 345 this morning. You can see the giant hole in the door wall over there. About six or seven doors taken out by not just a pickup, but a stolen pickup truck from an apartment complex right across the street. And just to the left of here is the ATM that was rammed. That truck used like a battering ram, just hitting it over and over and over again until it popped open and the thieves could take that safe. Now take a look at this video again happening at about 345. There was actually a cleaning crew inside while all this was happening. And we know that the police know this is a stolen vehicle because some paperwork fell out of the truck. That's how they were to track it back. They went across the street, knocked on the door of the truck owner and said, hey, what's going on? And they said, yeah, apparently somebody stole my truck. The general manager here at the Imagine Theater hasn't, uh, they haven't been able to wake him up just yet. So they're having a hard time accessing the surveillance video here. Once they do though, they'll have a much clearer idea of exactly who this was, or at least the picture of who this is. They can try to get some evidence and information put together but as of right now. They're kind of thin on who could have done this. Now, coming back out here live, they have no idea how much money was in the safe. However, the sergeant I was talking to did note that yesterday was a big movie day. The Joker movie is out. He said this place was just packed. Their thought is that there was a lot of people that would have been using that ATM and it wasn't serviced. It wasn't refilled last night. So there's a chance they caused all of this damage, probably ten or $15,000 worth of damage, and got a very small amount of money. We're live here in Camp Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.